We are going to use Google Docs and we're going to access it through the Google Apps Launcher. When you do it through the Apps Launcher, you get a range of templates or you can create a new document here. And these are where your documents are housed. And you also have the option to pull up a template, like for instance, this resume template. Great thing about this is it's already created for you. You just need to go in and edit the information and then share it with whomever you like. And there are other templates, and if you can't see them all, one thing you can do is there is a little button here that says More, and then you can just scroll down and it will show you the rest of the templates. I like the idea that there's a class notes one. I mean, I'm not sure if you really need a template for class notes, but we're going to access this one. And you see, and at this point, we can make any edits we wanted to. When a template's created, it is your document. It is not shared yet. And those permissions become important later. So you could go in here, and you could you know, change the dates, change the image, make any edits you want, and even share the document to be used by others. So we're going to and go through and we're going to look at using the text editor how you would go in and make any changes. We're going to look at the different areas starting with the file menu. So here this is what you could share. You can create a new one and if you didn't like this template you could go back to templates and create a different one. You also can open one that's already existing. Rename your document or you can click here and rename it. Organize it into a file that you already have in Drive, move to Trash. See the revision history can be very important if there are edits that you're not sure about. This one doesn't really have any edits yet. Language could be important if you are, you know, you speak a different language or you want to, later on I'll show you how to translate, and you can download it as different file formats. Publishing to the web, this is great for HTML, and you can add email collaborators and send them a message. And you also have the option to email this as an attachment, and it says PDF, but there's also other options. Microsoft Word, you can um, insert the whole document into the email, and you would just type in the person's name that's in your Gmail, and and then lastly, you can set up your page. You notice that if you want to, you can change the background color, set your margins. <clears throat> Under edits, it's, it's traditional, it's copy-paste. View is just how you would view the documents. Insert, and we'll come back to that one very shortly, and tools we'll come back to. When you're in the format, notice um, it's, I'm highlighting a picture, so it brings up a areas to format the picture, but if I was on text at the top, you would notice that I could format my text. I can also choose my line space and then my paragraph style. And I can insert tables. So let's go back to insert. To do a text box, it's a little different than just adding a text box. So I'm going to show you how you would do that. I'm just going to kind of space down here and get us a little extra space. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to Drawing. And there I have a text box window. If I wanted to highlight that text box and maybe put some lines around it, I could do that right here. I wouldn't have to go back into the editor. And I would just go up here and I would go to the pencil tool and maybe even make the lines a little thicker. Or I could go back and edit right here. And this is also where I could add an image into the text box or you know format it with color, change the font, the size of the font. So text boxes are not traditional in Google Docs of what we're used to with Microsoft Word.
if I wanted to format this picture or change it, when I click on it, it opens up some extra windows, gives me the option to crop or to reset the picture, to um, change the images. You know, I could do their contrast or their brightness or transparency and recolor the image. I really don't like that color, so we're definitely not going to keep that one. Now we're in tools. Here we can do spell check, research, um, open up a dictionary. We have the option to add an outline. That's great for research. Love the word count. That also is great for research. If maybe you've been given a certain word count you need for your paper, voice type. This is one of my favorite features now in Google. Please be as clear as possible when you speak into it, but just click. You start talking and it starts appearing. And then when I'm finished, I would just click again and it would take away the window or turn it off. I can translate a document. I love the idea to translate a document for parents. It will make a copy of the document so you don't use, lose the original translation. But this could be very helpful so that parents have, maybe a, if they are um, English lang language learners. Add-ons is a great feature in Google Docs. Google has added this as just to give your um, more functionality to your document. So you would go in and select the add-on. And when you find one you like, and, and there's so many here to check out, but when you find one you like, you would just click on it and it opens up a window and you just hit free. And it would add it to your add-ons manager. So when you go back to add-ons, they're there and they will follow you from document to document. So the next time you open up a new document, those same add-ons will be there. We're going to open up this research window. Love this because it prevents students from having to toggle between Google and the, you know, um, the document. So they could pretty much look up anything here. I'm just dragging an image out. This particular image doesn't render, but a lot of times they do, but they do add a footnote. And you can go in and you can actually look for actual text. And so maybe you want to pull up this website and it gives you the option to insert a link for it. And you notice what happened there. If I wanted to preview that website, I could go back and you see the preview button. And so it kind of tells you what it's going to look like. And you can click on it and go directly to that website. And then there's a help window. Most importantly in Google, there is the ability to share. So I would go here, if I wanted to add editors or somebody to view this document, I would just start searching through my list, or I could get a shareable link, or go here and change the access. So it goes from private, I can make anyone with a link, or public on the web, and this is great for um, when I want to embed them into websites. And it's pretty simple. That's one of the nicest features about Google, is the ability to share. And this is Google Docs pretty much in a nutshell, using the templates.